today we're back to the Attack of the Clone Lines with Yoda Chian, Chian and Count Dooku. Dooku? Dooku? Anyways. <laughs> Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Star Wars unboxing and review. And today we're back to the Attack of the Clones with Chian and Yoda and Count Dooku? 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 But anyways, for all your Star Wars needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. We're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We'll see where it goes from there. So we're back to 2002-ish, I believe. 2002-ish with the Attack of the Clones toy line. And this is a funny pack as I unboxed a couple of those younglings, those young Padawans. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. A week ago on the channel. I don't know what it's been. Time? What is it anymore? But I said, oh, I need to get that Chian and Yoda pack. I said, but maybe I do have that. And then I go through my box and what do you know? I got him right here. So I got another Yoda and then we got Chian, who's going to be the Chian, 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 Chin play with me here i don't know but it'll be good to have him to join those other two younglings put those guys together what do you know you got anakin ready to kill them all and off to the race as you go but let's take a look at the packaging on this one yoda's got his recliner that's the jedi recliner back in the day very akin to a lazy boy but a lot more designer is what i've been told somebody can fact check that but i believe that is correct star wars lightsaber blow blowing up at the top there star wars logo framed out you got yoda you got Chian glamour shots Padawan lightsaber training is what it says on the bottom. Oh, hours of fun. Hours of fun. On the back, there it is. You got the cross cell. You got the action figure cell. You got the warnings. You got the UPCs. You got 10 Jedi Master Points. And you got the blurbs. Let's read it. Let's see what it says about old Yoda and Chian. Oh, it's a big one. Diminutive and unassuming, Jedi Master Yoda is one of the wisest and most respected members of the Jedi Council for over 800 years. Yes, 800. Yoda has trained Jedi Knights and young pupils, pupils such as Chian in the ways of the Force. He instructs them to be calm, passive, at peace, to be aware of the present and mindful of the future, and to use the Force only for defense, never for attack. In these dire times, the dark side has begun to cloud even Master Yoda's insight into the future, into the fate of the Republic's encroaching war and the uncertain destiny of a young apprentice Skywalker. There you go. So Chian and Yoda, lunch buddies, Jedi training friends, uh, can join Jempa and Ashla as more Padawans. Uh, just what a time to be alive. What a time to be alive with this pack. Ages four and up. See you later, as you guys know. Uh, see you later. Oh, the, gim the Gimmer stick. The old Gimmer stick fell out, so we won't have that part of the plastic prison. Plastic prison right there. You got the lazy boy for Yoda. You got Yoda. You got the flight stand. You got Chian looking only like a Chian could look if he was in 2002 Attack of the Clones toy line. Uh, then you got a lightsaber for Yoda and a lightsaber for Chian. Chian? Chian. Can I get these guys out of the packaging? That's the million dollar question. Yoda gets his lightsaber too. Come on, Chian. Come on. Whoa, we're throwing stuff. We're breaking stuff. Watch out. Dangerous times here. Dangerous times. Come on. There it is. See you later off to the side. There it goes. Uh, Chion, I got to get your hat back on. So there it is. He's got that Jedi hat that we saw in those other pad ones. They got to be careful. They got to be careful. They're new with the lightsabers here. Uh, he's in that lightsaber position, uh, I guess. So he's, I better put that back in. Got the kid, the kid training lightsaber. It's little, it's small, it's Chion. A lot of reuse from that last one. A bit like a chest piece. The legs don't move, any of that. You got waist, you got head, you got arms. But that's it. Not a ton of posability with this one. Uh, but it kind of is what it is. The hat, helmet, whatever, does not fit the best. It's not as tight as I would like. It's, it's okay. But the other two weren't real tight either. And this one kind of has the same fate. Uh, he's a very ugly alien species. He's not cute like an Ewok or a Wookiee. Uh, or like a Pteridotian or whatever, or like a Bosque out there. He's just uh, he's his own little thing. So a face only a mother could love, and maybe Yoda can love him too, and train him in the ways of the Force. But I'm okay with this one. I, I think it'll look good. Uh, it's a good enough chess piece out there that's going to be on display. It's not like I'm really playing with these guys, or am I? Or am I? Jeez, I'm throwing them around. 
So it's interesting. The helmet does not stay on as well as it probably could or should, but it is what it is. It's Chion. He can join Ashla. He can join Jeppa. And you can have hours of fun training Jedis at your own house if you want to. But then we turn our attention to an old favorite, Master Yoda. This is probably the 50th Yoda we've unboxed on the channel at this point. Uh, it's never ending for Yoda. Ah, I was worried Yoda didn't have articulation with this one, but he does. And he's got elbows, so he's got that side-to-side -side move on the elbows. He's got the waist right there, very Power of the Force-esque. Very interesting look in his face. Like, something about the eyes means this is a scarier-looking Yoda than normal. Uh, but it's still Yoda, and it is a two-in-one Yoda in some aspects, as this could double as just a regular Yoda, or it could be Lazy Boy Recliner Yoda, like I said earlier. So I do like the... the uh, extra different stuff you could do with this Yoda compared to just being one or the other. He fits perfectly in his chair right there. The robe sticks over the back. I think that's pretty cool. A little flight stand action here to help dress it up a little. A lot to like about this Yoda. I think this Yoda is pretty cool and it almost feels like Chion is a freebie with him. Uh, these were priced the same as a regular two pack or a regular traditional pack I should say but you get two figures. Not the biggest figures, not the most articulated figures but two for one. That's how I look at it. And then Yoda, you can have him battling with his lightsaber or you can have him sitting here with his old Gimmer stick. Ah, the Gimmer stick. Gimmer sticks, capes, that's the look into my future in about 30 years. I'm going to walk around with a stick, I'm going to have a cape, and I'm going to be in business. And I'm going to be retired without a care in the world, hopefully. We'll see. We'll see if that day comes to pass. Uh, fingers crossed. So there it is. Yoda, uh, Chian, Chien, Chin, I don't know his name. But they work for me. I'm here for it. I like this pack. Glad I got it. But now we got to turn our attention to somebody else. Somebody else that walks a darker path. Yes, Christopher Lee. We're not talking Lord of the Rings. We're not talking Dracula. We're talking Dooku or Dooku or Dooku. Who knows? Nobody knows, I think. But that's who we're looking at here. Old Count Dooku. Let's take a look at the packaging. There he is, and he's got that uh, Emperor kind of holographic transmission thing. I believe we've seen this exact one before with a different pack-in. Maybe it was a different line. Maybe it was Attack of the Clones, but I know we've seen that in the past. So that's uh, reuse, getting the most out of your molds, as we always say. On the bottom, it says Dark Lord with slashing lightsaber attack. Yes, a Dark Lord. I loved him in the movie. I love Christopher Lee. He's one of those heavy metal actors out there. Just a cool voice, a cool look to him. Big fan of Christopher Lee's work. I was glad he was in the Star Wars uh, prequels. I thought it was cool. Great find with him. Loved him in Lord of the Rings. Like I said, loved him as Dracula back in the day. Just a versatile actor. Gotta love him. Gotta love him. On the back, got the glamour shots. He can do some lightsaber tricks. He's got blurbs about him. He's got cross cells. We got warnings. We got UPCs. We got 10 Jedi Master Points. Wouldn't you know. Count Dooku is a disillusioned former Jedi Knight who lost faith in the Republic and abandoned the Jedi Order. Dooku, Dooku, spent 10 years in seclusion, honing his Force abilities, and as a master in the old style of fencing, he wields his Schmidt Schmitter handled lightsaber with consummate grace. He's like a young Bruce Dickinson of Iron Maiden, uh, one of the all-time greatest fencers. Uh, look it up, look it up. And he's coming to town, so I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to say, Bruce, let's talk about your fencing game. How is it holding up after all these years? You're still an amazing fencer. Give me the answer. Uh, but Count Deku, I'm, I'm here for it. See you later. See you later. A great villain. Uh, it was kind of a weird story arc with him in there. He was kind of the highest of highs, the lowest and lows to kind of dead. Kind of how he went in that movie, but there he is. You got the Emperor right there. You got the green lightsaber. You got the red lightsaber. You got a lot of fun. You got a lot of fun. Uh, I would love to see them uh, flesh out his story of his time as a good guy. Maybe we'll get that at Disney Plus one of these days. We'll get a, like a Knights of the Old Republic or something. See you later uh, series one of these days. I don't know. But uh, it looks like a Christopher Lee as far as 2002 3 and 3 Force action figures go. I, I'm okay with this. I think it looks all right. How does he slash and burn and stuff? Oh, it's the old waist trick. The old waist trick. He goes, bah, right at you. Bah. So he's throwing something. Uh, but he does have that cool lightsaber. I always liked his red lightsaber with the handle, kind of the arched handle on it. it. Really set him apart. And I think that's one thing that every Jedi needs. They need their own kind of color, their own kind of something to really set them off and set them apart. And Dooku, Dooku, always had that for me. And you just... Oh, you don't even do the waist. You just get the old uh, legs. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Come on, Chion. Let's go. The ultimate battle. It's Chion versus Taku. 
Okay, here it is. He's ready to go. Chion just sitting up there. All he can do is parry. I believe it's called a parry. And I believe I remember that from Golden Axe back in the day. Uh, but he just sits up here and he blocks. And Deku just keeps coming. He's more powerful. He's bigger. He's a master Jedi. Chion, he's just learning. What's going to happen here? And oh, Chion, you've seen better days. You were desperately murdered right here at the table. Chion, we're going to have a Jedi funeral. It's going to be sad, but Deku wins again. We're not bringing Yoda into this. We don't have time for a Yoda, Yoda Deku battle. That could be all day. It honestly could take all day. But he does come with his cape. As we all know, we're in the thick of cape season, so it's good to have another caped guy here. Uh, but I'm here for this Deku figure. I like his stance. I like his look. I like his lightsaber. I actually like the gimmick. I like this gimmick of squeezing the legs. Very simple compared to the old button they have kind of on the waist and stuff, which is a little hard to get to on some of these figures. I like this one. I'm sure he'll need a stand of some sort as that cape makes him stand a little bit awkward. It does. But with a stand and everything, Deku, he's going to be prime in my location. He's going to be front row worthy. I love that Deku. I think it looks cool. He comes with this green lightsaber, and I'm sure it's based on the movie. Maybe he stole Yoda's lightsaber or found it or something. Or did he pick up Anakin's? Because I know he dueled with Anakin and Obi-Wan. My mind, I just can't remember these things. But I know there's a reason for this. And I guess, worst case scenario, you can always use this. If you're missing a lightsaber for Yoda or somebody else, you could always hand that one off to him if you needed to. So, Deku, I'm here for it. I like it. Uh, then this Emperor little chess piece is what it is. We've seen a lot of holographic figures over the time with these unboxings on the channel. Uh, but it's all right. It is okay for an accessory. But I'm here for both of these. I like the two-in-one aspect of Yoda and Chian and the Dooku. A major villain you have to have represented in your prequel display. Sign me up all day long for both these. I recommend them if you are in the market. But let me know what you think about these two. Did you have them? New to you? Any thoughts? No thoughts? Hey, whatever. Put it in the comments down below. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We got Star Wars videos. We got a ton of videos on the channel. So make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss one. Hit the notification bell. Best way to know when a new video drops, of course. And then follow me on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. And of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson for Deku Chien. Yoda, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.